Inflation has been a needle in your side all year, but now it's even coming for the Christmas trees. What about this one down alone? Like everyone has noticed, I'm sure, the price of everything has increased over the last couple of years. How much is this one? 132. 132. Oh, I know. Man, no wonder it's a better trade. And now I'm not paying that for it. Now. Hi, my name's Amy, and we are currently at Lester's Farm Market at 173 Brookville Road. For over a decade, we've been getting trees in from Nova Scotia. Uh, each year, we get in about 600 trees. Right now, we're after selling, I'd say, a little over 400. So of course, like anything else, the prices of trees have gone up slightly. The cost of fertilizer has gone up to grow the trees. Of course, they have to be transported here. Our smallest trees, so the seven to eight foot trees, um, just had a $9 increase. So to some, that may be, you know, a large increase. Um, but, you know, we work with what we're given. What would you end up paying for this tree today? Uh, 78 bucks. But I don't usually buy a Christmas tree. I usually got to my own, right? But the wife is pretty, pretty particular, so she likes them thick. <laughs> well, Lester's Farm is a pretty big player in the Christmas tree game, but let's see how it's affecting the little guy. Gerard Cadner, and I'm from Flatrock. Uh, selling Christmas trees, 40 odd years. Right here in the same spot? Uh, here and over in the next park now. And where do you get your Christmas trees? The same spot every year? We uh, get a government permit and cut on Crown Land, right? And have you had to change your prices at all? Yeah, well, with the price of gas and everything, you get drives the price of everything up, right? Small tree is around 20 to 25 now, right? And it used to be 10, right? The further you got to go and the bigger the tree, that determines the price, right? So if you got to travel a long ways, then you got 40 or 50 dollars for the gas. Someone got to pay for it. Got to come out of something, right? Do you cut your own Christmas tree every year? Oh, yes, yeah. Yeah, very particular with that. <laughs> it's not just trees around St. John's that have grown in price. At CNC Christmas Trees in Lewisport, longtime tree farmer Marilyn Kinden used to charge $60 to $65 for an average tree. Now, it's up to $75. And this is the first year in a long time that she isn't trucking trees to St. John's. With the price of gas, it's just not worth the trip. I don't know. It's like everything else now, everything has gone to hell. Hey, what do you do? You can't, you can't, you've got to have it, and you've got to have the right one. If not, you're in trouble. I've been trying to find my way out of this Christmas tree flation, but I'm stumped. It's just going to take a little more green to bring one of these home this year. For CBC, I'm Sarah Antle.